up y'all it's your girl breezy and i am back with a story time this is like my third no this is about my fourth or fifth story time whatever but i can't even tell y'all about the time my boyfriend's car fell on my freaking hand and just a piece of advice ladies don't help your man change the tire or with anything that got to do with the car okay let him do it okay i was just trying to be helpful because and i felt bad because like he was doing it by himself it was getting dark i know the mosquitoes was eating him up and like i'm just a type to always help like you know anything i'm not bougie i help cut the grass and you know all the other bunch of stuff but this time i really messed up all right so um he has I don't know if it's a 1980-something or if it's a 1990-something, but it's in the 1900s, okay? He has a Chevy Caprice. Obviously, it's old, and he got it. It's, it's like, decked out or whatever. Um, it's heavy, and um, the, the we're changing the back passenger tire. And it has a skirt on it. If you don't know what a skirt is, it's like this is the tire, and the tire has like a piece of whatever. Like it has a skirt or whatever over the top of the tire. So only like the bottom half of it is showing. And he has rims on his car. I think they're 22s. He has rims on his car. And the struggle was, was trying to get the car high enough off the ground to go under the skirt and then put it on the on the thing um so we tried um we tried two jacks it wasn't enough so then i came up with the idea to put it was either bricks or wood on a jack on one of them it lifted it up high enough just a little bit but it it wasn't like working and the whole time he kept saying, man, this thing going to fall, man. Excuse me. So we stopped for, for a second. And we was probably trying to do it for about five to seven minutes. After we put the bricks on. I really think it was wood. But that's not the point. It it was like something that's not supposed to go under there. Um, so we trying to put it on and then he stopped for a second he was trying to think he was like think little and think and then like i have my hand hold like under the skirt holding the tire up so it wouldn't like fall out of place from where we had it because it was almost on but we still needed it higher so i had my hand holding the tire up under the skirt and then like and we did it happened so fast it was like slow fast it happened so fast that like we didn't even see the car falling. The only thing we know was the jack. The jack was tipping under the car like this. Meanwhile, the bricks are going like this. And all of a sudden, the car said <laughs> on my hand and like I had to like slide my hand from between at this point it's like between the car and the tire like smashed and I had to like yank it from under the skirt y'all that was that topped the um, c-section pains okay at this point in my life that was the worst pain I have ever experienced in my entire life my knuckles were swollen both of them especially these ones these swell up within a matter of about 15 seconds um this was the most damaged finger i got pictures if you're like not a fan of blood and whatever i suggest you don't watch the end because i'll put the pictures at the end um but y'all like my finger my knuckles looked like hills okay it was so bad and it throbbed it was bleed like i had blood all on my pants like it oh 
I cannot describe the pain, okay? And so, we, um, I came in the house, like, right after that happened. I had to take a minute outside. I was on the ground. I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Then I came in the house. All I could do is just kneel in the middle of the floor, just holding my hand. Like, I couldn't do nothing else. And then, so, Logan came in, and he was telling me to, like, um, to wash it off, put some, put my hand in some water, whatever. I couldn't even let the water from the faucet hit my hand, cause it was so bad. I couldn't even put my, leave my hand like in the water, cause it was so bad. Like y'all, it. Oh my gosh, I'm not even exaggerating. That pain, on a scale of one to ten, it was one million. Okay. But, um, we, I, at first I wasn't going to go, but I was like, I can't do this. Like, there's something that has to be done. Um, but we went to the emergency room. We sat there for about three hours in the waiting room, just waiting. And here, um, uh, where we live, they have, like, it's like an emergency care center. Um, so that's not a real hospital. So if I had to, like, go to the hospital, I'd have to, like, drive or they'd have to fly me or whatever. I have to get flown if it was something extreme. But um I what it is. Oh we sat in the waiting room for about three hours. The entire three hours I cried. Except for about the last thirty minutes. But I sat in that waiting room, all the people looking at me. I'm just like, oh, legs shaking, hands shaking, everything. Tears falling, nose running, all of that, y'all. When I tell y'all, it was so extreme. So, after that long wait, we got to the back. We had to wait probably another 30 minutes to see the doctor. And, like, I believe it was only one doctor in there at the time. So, like, he was real busy. He had to get to the next patient, like, boom, boom, boom. He came in there, checked my finger. He was like, um, we're going to have to, like, remove the nail, clean, like, under the finger or whatever, because I was bleeding under my nail. It was, like, halfway off. Um, he cleaned under my finger, and I had to get stitches under it and on the side of it. Lily! And on the side of it. Sorry, that's my dog. Okay. But, um, I, oh, we had to wait another 30 minutes. Um, after he, like, checked it out and whatever, he had to come back and clean it and stitch it. He had to numb me with a needle, like, r on the sides of my fingers. Another set of waterworks right there. Y'all, like, that was just a traumatizing experience, I'm telling you. He numbed me, and um, he cleaned, he took the nail off, he cleaned my finger, then he stitched me up, and I had to wear a band, like um, a gauze band-aid or whatever, on my finger uh, for, a, for a long time. Maybe about... It was a long time to me because I was just in pain for like a straight week. Um, I had it on for about two weeks. And then my mom brought me like just a finger splint or whatever for, for people with broke fingers. So that whenever I hit it, or if I did hit it, I wouldn't like feel it, you know. And it helped, believe it or not. Um, and my finger was bent. So it helped me like straighten it out. It helped a lot. But um, I had my, my hand, I walked around with my hand up for about a week or two. Like I couldn't, I could not drop it. Whenever I like held it downward, it would throb. Like, I wanna say this is the blood starts flowing down and through your arm or whatever. My hand throbbed in excruciating pain every time I down my my hand my arm yeah I can't I can't 
but it took about it took about two to three weeks for the pain to stop and then it took about a month the only fingers I was able to use was were these four but um I didn't use this hand really at all um, for about a month or two and um, my nail did come off my and it grew like weird at first like it grew starting back like down here because like all of this is gone it grew maybe about down here and it had to like form its original shape back to where my fingers would look my hands are ugly by the way to where my fingers would look the same at least halfway the same again but um yeah i did lose a nail it grew back in about two months i needed that nail for my sister's wedding uh is there anything else i don't think so my advice to you ladies do not help your man do anything to your car to your car to his car whatever let him do it if he can't do it if you won't do it go to a mechanic you don't do it i know how to change a tire but i haven't changed one since then i can't i can't sister because it's just too much that that was very traumatizing for me i'm not a punk but i am today <laughs> well i am now when it comes to tires and stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big fat thumbs up. This is just a quick story time. Just to tell you about that time. About that traumatizing experience. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We have a vlog channel called Keys and Breezy Vlogs. Please don't forget to subscribe. Our vlogs are coming. We only have three vlogs up there so far. Those are back when it was my channel. Like by myself. But we got them coming got some exciting stuff about to happen i believe and yeah if you got any video suggestions please leave them in the comment section down below or feel free, feel free to dm us all of our social medias will be in the description box and yeah we love you guys gang 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 gang